started with student protests uh, against the incumbent government of Prime Minister Peter O'Neill at the biggest university, spread across the country. And then of course it led up to the elections this year, chaotic, contentious, violent, uh, and hotly contested elections that saw Mr O'Neill, who has been fairly controversial ever since he seized power here in Papua New Guinea, re-elected for a second term. Australian businesses have more money invested in Papua New Guinea than we have in China. Uh, so its stability, uh, as, as our nearest neighbour, is not only important politically, uh, it's also important commercially. Uh, and, and you know, the, Australia, of course, still has a huge responsibility in, in the amount of assistance it gives Papua New Guinea. PNG is Australia's biggest aid recipient. And PNG is also a really influential country in the Pacific. It's, it's the biggest economy and the biggest population and is looked upon by the other countries as a regional leader. And geopolitically, I've also covered a lot of the fact that what happens in PNG is now closely watched by China and the US as well as Australia. So it's, it's a really critical, pivotal point uh, now in, in, in the region and what happens here politically is really, really important. We also know that when we report on things like the Papua New Guinea elections that, you know, that there are negative consequences for reporting critical stories in Papua New Guinea. That is a fact of life of operating here. It's, it's one of the things we deal with. The government frequently says that the media is free, but it's a real challenge to actually report on contentious political events in Papua New Guinea when you're under that kind of pressure, when you're being threatened with arrest and, and deportation, uh, and just also just getting people to talk to you on the record and to do interviews and to find that talent for stories is also a challenge. Uh, it's not a challenge getting information, but it is a challenge getting people to stand up when their livelihoods are at risk, uh, when they don't know what the consequences will be about speaking out against the government. And that's an issue that we actually still face here in Papua New Guinea at the moment.